Winston. Tell them. Tell them all. Whoever comes, whoever it is, I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. Poor John, all he wanted to do was play with his puppy, and if you think about it, he gets savagely spawn camped no less than three times in the trilogy. So, anyway, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and as you've gathered, we're talking about spawn camping. Now, I'll be honest, I have spawn camped on occasion, if you're honest, you probably have too, we've all done it with a railgun, because it's a perfectly legal thing to do, and it's a highly effective strategy. So after dealing out the damage, as you've seen, and also receiving it, as you're about to see, I've realized I need to give this problem my full attention. It's not what you did, son, that angers me so. It's who you did it to. Who? The f nobody? The nobody. It's John Wick. So I'm gonna run through every way I've learned to kill a spawn camper, and at the end, if you have time, I could use your help with something. Let's have a bit of a laugh and see what John Wick can do. Have fun, guys. They know you're coming. Of course. Now, the first thing to know about your spawn camper is they want to be as close to the boundary as possible, particularly if they're in a wildcat. So if you don't have a vehicle, that gives you 10 seconds to run in, plant your charges, and get out of there. Clean execution. Perfect. Now, 10 seconds may not sound like a lot, but you can actually cover quite a lot of ground uh, in that window, especially if you're prepared to not make it back alive. 80 mines are very, very good for this. Don't lose heart, guys. This is all part of the master plan. They'll move eventually. Yeah. Gotcha. Well played, sir. Okay, so those are the easy ones, but what do you do when the spawn camper that you're after is very, very deep to their back line and there's no way on earth you're going to be able to run up there in 10 seconds? Well, we need to get a little bit more committed and come up with a strategy, and here is what I suggest you might want to do. 10 seconds has gone a whole lot longer. John is a man of focus, commitment, sheer will, something you know very little about. I recommend you have your C5 in hand before you get in the vehicle so you don't lose valuable seconds. Drive straight at them, close down the distance, pop out and take them out. Nothing wrong with getting a little creative, John Wick would approve. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a pencil. Replace bar with tank and pencil with C5 and it makes sense. Seriously, if you're prepared to take one for the team, there's nothing they can do about you. John will come for you. You will do nothing because you can't do nothing. If you're not exactly sure where the spawn camper is, just wait a second, they'll give themselves away. Like that. There go the missiles. Now you know where to go. You're moving off the map. Turn around. The truth is that taking out a spawn camper is often a one-way ticket, no matter what you do. But I sincerely put to you, it's an excellent team play. One life in exchange for taking out a vehicle, its crew, and reopening the skies? I'll do that any day. Okay, let's change gear and look at some aerial attack. If you're a passenger in a vehicle and you see your chance like that, you should absolutely take it. Show no mercy for your opponent or regard for yourself. If any part of you feels bad, remember, they chose to sit and spawn. Let us not resort to our baser instincts and handle this like civilized men to move on. I'm not saying you should go out of your way to do this, but if the opportunity presents itself, take it. Remember the damage these things can do if they're left unchecked. They're savage. Now, the most difficult kill in the game. Can I get randoms who don't know me to actually respond to my Sophilum cue? I gave him an impossible task. A job no one could have pulled off. 
I stayed there for a long time, but hey, if you don't want it, you don't want it. But if you had a squad of buddies, this would definitely work. In my case, I'm flogging a dead horse here. Jonathan, just walk away. In fairness, being constantly locked onto must have annoyed them quite a lot. Right, so this brings me to my final thing, and rather than actually a methodology, this is more of a mythbuster section. Now, I've been told that the EOD is good for going in and blowing up vehicles, but it's not, because it suffers the same boundary restriction and time constraint exactly as you would do if you were to run across the border. Which means you've only got 10 seconds to get there and inflict a kill. Now, maybe if you got super lucky and you came across a highly wounded vehicle, it could be done. But unless it's proven to the contrary, sorry guys, I don't believe anyone can pull this off. I'm sorry to say that no one's that good. So that is every way I could think about doing this on foot, so now we move on to the vehicles. Honestly, if you're in an aerial aircraft, be it a stealth chopper, an Apache, or a jet, you should be going after these people like you're seeing here. Look at this beautiful 1-2 with a jet. That was so smooth. I love when things like that happen. That jet pilot was an ace. So anyway, I'm not going to uh, dwell on stealth helicopter because I've covered that extensively in other videos. So let's move on to the next vehicle. Talking about the attack helicopters, if it's a tour on the back line, I absolutely recommend you take a crack at them. Just go a bit of a wider route so you don't get railgun on the way. If you're above them, there's nothing they can do. A wildcat is a slightly different matter, but hey, if you're a better pilot than me, maybe you can take him out no problem. Personally, I would still stay away from a wildcat if I had an attack chopper. The last sensible way I could think of is on certain maps, you can even kill spawn campers from your own spawn. It's the ultimate poetic justice. So yeah, if you get the opportunity and you're being spawn camped, hit him back. So that's that on how to kill spawn campers. If I've missed anything, please let me know. I'd like to ask your help with something. This video actually came about because I was talking to you guys about what your pet peeves that other gamers do in the game is. It was a very positive, very funny conversation. There are great examples such as using a jet as a cruise missile to take out your transport. One of you told me you constantly get rammed by your own team. I've never noticed, but then this happened to me. John, what the hell? I thought you loved this car. I don't know if you noticed, but you got a crack in your windshield. This one I absolutely relate to, being hijacked by your own team when you go to repair a vehicle, and in this case it was even worse because I did the work to steal and capture this vehicle. Where'd you get that car? I swear, if team killing were possible... Anyway. The one that resonated most with you is when you have a squad that you work really, really hard to support, and when you need just a little bit of help, they don't exactly come. Do you need anything for the pain? No, I've got that covered. So whilst I bleed out in full view of my team, if you have any pet peeves, please let me know. Maybe we can make a funny video. Just leave things out like hackers and cheaters. They're not funny. There's nothing we can do. Just let the devs handle it. Your membership to the Continental has been by thine own hand. Revoked. And with that, we reach the end of the video. If you've made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for sticking with it. It's appreciated. Spawn camping's completely legal. It's not a big deal. I'm just having a little bit of fun with this video, and I hope it gave you some ideas for how to deal with it when you come across it. Have a cracking weekend, guys. And remember, even in the spawn zone, you're not safe. Take care. Easy, not good. Thank <laughs> you.